The Islamic golden age shone with the brilliance of many men and women. One in particular was Badi al-Zaman Abul Ez ibn Ishmael ibn al-Razaz al-Jazari, born in the 12th century in al-Jazari, Mesopotamia, now southeast Turkey. An extraordinary engineer of his time, al-Jazari served as chief engineer to rulers in early 13th century Anatolia and pioneered the development of automata, automatic control, robotics and automated musical theatres. From an early age, he worked with his father and uncles who were craftsmen, learning the practical skills of working with wood and metal to create tools and solutions. He was a practical engineer and technologist. Unlike the Greeks he studied, he assembled mechanical devices by trial and error rather than by theoretical calculations and was more interested in creating machines that were useful to society than machines that purely existed for dramatic effect and illusion. In this pursuit, he realized that machines could be made to operate independently and developed the first real programmable robots. In taking this approach, Al-Jazari created the first water supply system driven by gears and hydropower. He revolutionized the way in which engineers used the principles of levers, cams, weights and pulleys in machinery. And he was the first person to use crankshafts, cogwheels, pistons, suction, delivery pipes and one-way clack valves in pumps. Al-Jazari described and illustrated his inventions in his Book of Knowledge of Ingenious Mechanical Devices. It is considered a seminal work and many of the ideas employed in the construction of these ingenious devices were useful in the later development of mechanical technology. Among the many marvelous mechanical devices designed and built by Al-Jazari was his castle clock, which was thought to be the first analog computer. The castle clock, with its gold zodiac dial, breathtaking bronze birds on its battlements, and fine group of mechanical musicians at its gate, was one of the grandest keepers of all time. The hours since sunrise were shown by the open doors on the clock front, as well as by roundels that lit up the passage of time. The minutes were reflected by the progress of a crescent moon across the clock's frieze. At its top, a large dial mimicked the movement of the moon and stars across the sky as the sun rose and set. Within the clock, movements were regulated by a most ingenious system of reservoirs, troughs and pulleys. Yet it was the smallest device, a cart that ran on a wooden track, that set off a dramatic chain of events leading to the telling of the time. The clock's central mechanism was a reservoir from which an accurately calibrated flow of water was allowed to seep into a float chamber and into a plate and spout. As a weighted float descended within the reservoir, it tugged at two pulleys, one that set the cart on its motion and another that slowly pulled a sphere, which in turn rotated a cut-out crescent disc to shine light from candles onto the roundels and shift the sun and moon dial on top of the clock. As the cart moved along its road, upon the hour, a vertical shaft triggered the upper and lower doors to reveal the figure of a man and the words, Dominion is God's. When this happened, the gate on a rail behind the doors opened to release two balls which traveled down chutes and into the beaks of two gold falcons, which then tilted and dropped the balls into two copper vases, announcing the hour with a clash of symbols. At the same time, the water that had escaped from the reservoir was directed into troughs to restart the clock's mechanism. For three times in the day, a pulley unplugged a trough and the water flowed over a scoop wheel, driving camshafts which activated musicians in front of the clock, the drummers and cymbalists who beat their instruments, and two trumpeters whose music was made by the flute-like sound created by the expulsion of air through whistle jars. At the same time, the cart continued its hourly journey, setting off the magical elements of the castle clock. Practical, beautiful and ingenious. 
the castle clock was a fine example of the great work of Al-Jazari and his revolutionary contribution to mechanical engineering.